สวัสดีค่ะทุกคน Hi everyone, my name is Sarah. The other day, I saw a post by a Twitter user, Kunat Garun, and she basically talked about how easy it was to pronounce or understand Thai tones. I'm pretty sure she was being sarcastic about it because, as a beginner, you guys probably understand how difficult tones are, right? So today, I would love to attempt to teach you guys the differences of these words in Thai. I also explain the differences between the vowel length or vowel duration as well. That actually makes a huge difference in pronouncing these words. On top of that, I would also like to explain, maybe talk a little bit about the confusion of the transliteration systems Pai Bun Plus and IPA. If you don't know what those are, I'm talking about the Ko Kai Sao. If it should be K or G, and Ko Kai Sao. If it should be K or KH. And at the end of this video, I also have exercises to test your comprehension. So stick around to the end. Those exercises are like tongue twister or tone twister. Before we get right to the content today, if you're new here, welcome. And if you like this kind of video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon below, so you won't miss any new videos that I'm gonna be posting here. All right, if you're ready, let's just get started. So instead of going over the tones or the meanings as she arranged, I would prefer using my own chart that I use in my class. Uh, I think it's easier. So let's just start with mid tone. Yeah. So the vowel length here is long. Yeah. So we're gonna start with the long vowel. The long vowel here is ow. Okay. So in order to do ow, you would you should be able to do ah first symbol, right? Ah ah, and then you wanna put. Ooh, kind of make sure that your mouth is rounded, ooh, like this at the end. You can see that the phonetics here, right? It's a, uh, it's a a o, right? But it's more like a a and then ooh at the end. But I guess like the finished product come out the same way. So and it's this system they use a a o, okay? So that just to clear the confusion, why is a a o instead of a a u? It's supposed to be a a u, but a a o kind of works too. Ow, 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 and then K here. So K here, I would explain it as aspirated K for now, and then I'll get into it later about if it should be K or KH uh, later in this video. Okay, so just stick to K, 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 k aspirated K, as in the air coming out for now. K, k, cow, cow, mitone, cow. What is a mitone? Mitone is flat monotone. Um, kind of boring tone. There's no um, up and down. Yeah, cow, cow. That means fishy. Yeah, cow, cow. Next one, low tone. Cow, cow. Still the same vowel link here. Yeah, cow. That one means news. Cow, cow. What is a low tone? Low tones you go low, a little lower than mid tone, and then go even lower. Cow. <laughs> Cow, cow. Sounds depressing here, right? It's just like that, yeah. Cow, cow, yeah. Again, back to mid tone, just to point out the difference here. Mid tone, cow, cow, yeah. It's like flat, yeah. And then low tone, cow, cow, yeah. Female reg register or pitch probably like higher. Cow, cow, cow. This is still low tone. Let's move on to falling tone. Yeah, a falling tone uh, means rice. Yeah, cow falling tone. Cow. The way I teach falling tone in my class that I don't really teach like ah uh, like this ah uh, yeah like up and down. Even though phonetically technically it's supposed to be up and down, right? Ah uh, ah uh, cow cow cow. Um, in real life, like conversations. We don't really do that, so feel. I feel like I I love to teach falling tone in a way that you're you start here and you just fall, cow, cow, cow. Maybe a little like bit higher than um, mid tone, cow, cow, cow. Falling tone, yeah. All right, there's no meaning for high tone here. Um, and I'm gonna skip to rising tone, which is white color, cow, cow, 
Kao. So we do, what is a rising tone? A rising tone is sweet. Yeah, the sweetest tone, I would say. It's like you say, really? Aww. Kind of surprise kind of tone. Like, you know, the way it goes. Aww. Aww. Kao. 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 Yeah, make sure it's a long vowel, yeah. Kao. 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 All right, let's carry on to the short version of ow. Yeah, the short version of ow basically just make it shorter. Ow, ow. In Thai script, you can see the long version is said ah and wa wen. That's why I'm saying it's like ah and then u at the end. But the short version, we actually have a vowel that represents these sound, uh, which is said ow. So this is a complete simple vowel like it's a it's a vowel and it's a simple vowel in thai ow ow so that's why in thai script you see that without anything else without wall and without anything else yeah for transliterations if you cannot read thai then you can just see it as a short version of ow this one is ow 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 now for mid tone kao kao kwai sara ao um doesn't really have any meanings here but we actually have a close sound, I would say like really close to this sound, which is the word krao, krao with cluster. So the thing is, in Thai script, you can see kao kwai and rado here because it's a cluster, right? Kru, kru, kru. But in conversation, we love dropping the second initial consonant, especially if it's ra rua or la ling sao or true r or or L sound, yeah. So that's why this word, krao, like technically, properly supposed to be pronounced like that with the sound. In conversation, we drop it. And that's why you're gonna hear it as kao, 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 beard. Yeah, again, proper version, krao, krao. Conversational, kao, kao. Which is sound like a short version of kao or fishy. Again, kao, kao, that's mid tone, yeah, kao. Next one is knees. It's a low tone. Kao. Kao. Yeah. Still the same vowel link here, which is a short vowel. Yeah. Ao ao. Kao. Kao. Compared to the long version, news. Yeah. This one is kao. Lo. Kao. This one is kao. 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 Yeah. Shorter. Kao. But the same tone. Kao. Kao. Now carry on to a falling tone. Yeah. Kao. 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 To enter. Now, I'm gonna compare to the long version, which is rice, yeah. Kao, kao, kao is longer, yeah. This one is kao, kao, kao. Carry on to the next one, high tone. What is a high tone? High tone is the hardest tone for my students and for me to teach too, but I love it because it's challenging, but it's possible to do it. So high tone is you go a little higher <laughs> and then even higher. It's like you're trying to do soprano, but for, for girls, it's actually, for, for ladies, it's actually easier to say, to tell them to do that. But for guys, maybe you don't want to sound like a girl. And so I usually just do like male register too, like male pitch, yeah. So I do this um, for, for female first. For female speakers, I would say, uh, 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 yeah. For guys, I usually do this, this way. Uh, 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 back to the word cow. Yeah, this one is high tone. So cow, cow, cow. I think it's easier to say cow because it's a short vowel. Um, I mean, it's pretty, it's short. It's not like cow because when you say cow, you tend to say cow, which is a rising tone. I would say cow is mostly used for he or they because she, we usually use uh, te. And if you guys can read Thai script here, you can see that I put both versions, which are Kho Kai and Kho Kwai, right? Kho Kai. If it's a Kho Kai version, it's supposed to be rising tone, right? Kho Kai high consonant, uh, no tone mark is a rising tone. So it's Kao, Kao. But why do I put it as a high tone? Because we almost never say it as a rising tone. That's why, <laughs> in conversation. That's just, you know, the way we, we say it. You can actually try to observe how Thai people uh, say. I'm not talking about textbook style or some teachers who, you know, use the transition system as like the tone mark as rising. 
Um, or sometimes if you hear them in a video, they will try to do rising tone too, but that's not natural. I understand they probably want to make sure that it's, you know, correct according to the grammar, uh, the pronunciation, that it should be marked like that. But in reality and conversations, we don't really say it as a rising tone. Uh, you might hear it though as a rising tone for from people who speak like a dialect, but standard Thai, you almost never hear it in conversation. And that's why I put it as a high tone here. And with Kho Kwai and Maito, yeah, the, the version with Kho Kwai and Maito, that is the version to, that we use to reflect the pronunciation as a high tone. It's not an official version, of course, if uh, you're gonna see Kho Kai more often. Also because, you know, it's easier to type to, right? Like three keys, yeah? Sada A, Kho Kai, Sada A, done. But if you type Maito, it's like four keys, right? Having said that, you'll see a lot of Thai people, you know, text or type with Kho Kwai, Maito rather than Kho Kai, yeah? Um, either way, it's fine. It's totally up to you, but Kokai is the official one. All right, so carry on to the rising tone one. Kao, Kao, yeah. So this one is short, yeah. The word white is long. Kao, Kao, short version. Kao, 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 mountain. Or horn, yeah. So two meanings. So uh, another way to say mountain is Pu Kao, yeah. You can say Kao or Pu Kao. All right, so now let's go back and do the comparisons again. So I want to show you the difference uh, and you can probably see it more clearly if I just drag it and, you know, trink it back and forth like this. So let's do it. Cow, fishy. Cow, yeah. Cow, that's a mid-tone. And that's a long vowel. Cow. All right, now shorten it. Cow, beard, yeah. Conversational for beard. Cow. Cow, cow, yeah, cow, 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 fishy, cow, beard, yeah. Second one, news, cow, long while, cow, <laughs> I'm exaggerating, yeah, cow, 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 short version, cow, that's knee, yeah, again, news, cow, cow, knees, cow, cow, next one. Rice, cow, 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 long, yeah, and then short to enter, cow, 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 again, cow, cow, yeah, rice to enter, cow, cow, cow. This word cow is also interesting because we don't really say it long all the time. So when you place it as the first syllable, it will be shortened a little bit. So it might, actually not a little bit, quite a lot. It might sound exactly like the word to enter. I'll give you an example. So for example, the word dinner is kao yin. Yeah, you can see we place it as the first syllable, right? Kao yin. When we say in conversation, we don't really say kao yin. We say kao yin, kao yin, kao yin. So let's shorten, sound like to enter, kao yin. Another example, maybe kao niyo. Yeah, sticky rice, kao niyo. Kao tom, boy rice. Kao tom. Yeah, you can hear it as kao, right? Not kao. So when do you hear it as kao, then when you place as a second syllable, like gin kao, it belong. Gin kao. Yeah. All right, let's carry on to the next pair, which is rising tone. Yeah. Kao, kao. That one uh, long, right? Kao, kao, kao means white. The other one, mountain. Kao, kao. Kao, yeah, again, kao, long, and then mountain, kao, 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 short. See, you can see a difference now. You, If you actually just break down like this, is I don't think it's that hard to understand, right, the differences. All right, so now let's talk about the confusion of K and G for kokai and K and KH for kokai, yeah. Let me put it this way. We have a lot of transition systems um, for the Thai language and the system that I picked <laughs> is Paibut Plus because they have the best dictionary in the market. The reason that I like this system a lot is because when my students learn the alphabet and everything in the system, I find that they actually be able to pronounce quite accurately, really close to Thai script. But again, you need to put some effort. And most of the time I feel if you gotta put effort to learn 
the weird characters, you might as well just get into TypeScript right away too. So either way is fine if you want to get away with not getting to TypeScript, I would recommend PyWin Plus system. Also because they have the best dictionary uh, app, if you learn that system, it will be easier for you to use the dictionary. That's the reason that I use it. But of course, there's a flaws for every system, yeah. Now, back to IPA. IPA is quite accurate too, but it's not really easy to understand intuitively for English speakers, I would say. For example, like KH sound here. So let's talk about KH sound. KH sound for IPA is Kokwai sound, um, but Paibun Plus, they use K sound, yeah. KH is actually accurate, it's like, aspirated K, right? So K in English, right? The, the sounds in English K, there's two kinds. So it's like K in the word can and K in the word sky. The word can would be k, k with aspirated, uh, with air coming out. But K in sky would be like g, 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 yeah, softer. So yeah, I, I guess K-ish is more accurate, right? And I see a lot of um, sighs in Bangkok and everywhere it's like spelled with K-ish too. But it's not really easy. Like I said, it's not really intuitively understood by English speakers. So with that reason, together with my own opinion on the PyBoon Plus being a good dick app, right, for, for my uh, students, then I go for PyBoon Plus. And then I have to stick to one transition system rather than switch back and forth. Nowadays, I try to use the simplified version too. For those people who don't want to get into these phonetics like hustles at all, the simplified version is probably is based on what I understand um, phonetically and also from the website thai to englishcom That one is free. You can just go online and use it and look up Thai words. Now, KH is correct, but it's not really intuitively understood by English speakers. So that's why I think K is better and Paibun Plus also uses K. Now, let's talk about Gokai sound. Gokai sound, it's, uh, it's not really G and it's not really K. IPA is K, Paibun Plus is G, but it's not really K and it's not really G, and here's why. Yeah. So Paibun Plus, you, usually when I teach my students, I would say it's not G, it's, it's, it's not like G, like G, G, voice G, it's like G, G, really soft. If I had to pick, I still wouldn't know which one to pick. It's still not K either, because if you, if you put it as K, I have to point out that it's K like in the word sky. It's not like general K, you know? So this is what I mean by the flaws of transition systems uh, for learning Thai. And if you think that is so much hustle and complicated to understand all of this, you might as well just get into Thai writing. I have a self pay study course for Thai writing. If you're interested, you can email me. And I plan to make more videos on writing anyway, so you can use my videos on this channel as well. Anyway, so back to Gokai sound. Like I said, it's not really G, it's not really K, right? So, but Paibun Plus, they use G for Gokai, yeah? So, and I stick to that. So this is all explanations why I, I use Paibun Plus and why I use K for Gokai and G for Gokai because of the confusion, right? Some people, when they see this word K-A-O, yeah, they might think of Gokai because if they use IPA system, yeah. So I'm gonna get into Gokai with Ao and Ao as well. So start with the word Gao, yeah, Gao, it's a long vowel, yeah, Ao, Ao, Gao, this is Gokai, yeah, G sound, G sound, it's like, K in the word sky, yeah, or marker, K in the word marker, yeah, g, g, gao, gao, gao. So that's different from cow, right? Cow, k, k, air coming out, cow, cow, yeah. Gokai sa will be g, 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 gao, glue, yeah, gao, gao, gao. All right, next one is, we don't have a low, low tone, doesn't have meaning here. Falling tone is gao, gao. Gao. Now, gao can be written two ways, yeah? The first one is the long version, yeah? So the and wall man. Gao, gao. Gao means step or progress. And another word that has the same sound is number nine. Gao, gao. But you can see in Thai script, it's sort of ao, right? It's a short vowel. But how come it's pronounced long? It's supposed to be pronounced 
ก้าเก้าเก้า like this but we pronounce it long ก้า I mean I don't know why but this is the way we pronounce it and also because สระเอา yeah can be short and can be long depends on each word and this word number nine is long ก้าก้าก้า all right so that's the long version and now we're gonna go to the short version yeah short version ก้าวก้าวก้าว scratch yeah ก้าวก้าว yeah as opposed to glue yeah ก้าวก้าว short version ก้าวก้าว scratch yeah ก้าวก้าว low tone old ก้าวก้าว we use ก้าว for items and places rather than human except if it's an ex boyfriend that will be fan ก้าว Or person who uh, came before you, that would be kun gao, yeah, kun gao. So that that's fine. But in general, if we use the adjective gao, we use for items or places, yeah. For example, like s e g a o yeah, like old shirt s e g a o Again, gao, gao, l o t o n gao. We don't have gao. We don't have any meanings for that, yeah. So the spelling gao is actually pronounced long, yeah, gao, gao. High tone, gao, 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 gao is a disease. This is what I heard from my cousin who had it before. He wasn't supposed to eat chicken when he has this disease. Gao, gao, and in Thai script you can see the ta ta han and my tan ta k a d here. And I have the rising tone version. Gao, 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 gao is black gao, grouper or reef. Cod, gao, rising tone, gao, also a slang word meaning um like awesome, like cool, like you, an expert in something, but I think it's kind of old-fashioned word now. We don't really say it anymore. You might hear it still sometimes in conversation, I guess. So now it's time for exercises, and I have some sentences for you to test your comprehension. Are you ready? Let's do it. I'm gonna say a sentence, and then you can guess the meaning. Okay, all right. เขากินข้าวเขากินข้าวเขากินข้าว Did you get that one? เขาหายท้อน He or she or they. กินข้าว Rice. Yeah. เขากินข้าวเขากินข้าว Next one. เขาติดกาวเขาติดกาวเขาติดกาวเขาติดกาวเขาหายท้อน he she or they ติด is paste yeah กาว is glue so เขาติดกาว he or she or they um use the glue yeah ติดกาวติดกาวเขาปีนเขาเขาปีนเขาเขาปีนเขาเขาปีนเขาเขา he or she or they ปีน to climb เขา mountain yeah เขาปีนเขาเขาปีนเขา next one เขาชอบสีขาวเขาชอบสีขาวเขาชอบสีขาวเขาชอบสีขาวเขาหายท้อน he or she or they ชอบ to like สีขาว both rising tone สีขาว white color เขาชอบสีขาวเขาชอบสีขาว okay now let's do longer sentences the first one เขากินข้าวกับดูข่าวอยู่ I love this one เขากินข้าวกับดูข่าวอยู่เขากินข้าวกับดูข่าวอยู่ again เขากินข้าวกับดูข่าวอยู่เขา he or she or they กินข้าว rice กับ and ดูข่าว watch news you a word to signify person continuous tense in Thai เขากินข้าวกับดูข่าวอยู่ next one เขาปีนเขาเลยเข่าเจ็บเขาปีนเขาเลยเขาเจ็บ again เขาปีนเขา
เลยเขาเจ็บเขา he or she เลยปีน climb เขา mountain เลยเลย then เขา knees เจ็บเขาปีนเขาเลยเขาเจ็บ Jeb is hurt. Yeah. Again, เขาปีนเขาเลยเขาเจ็บ Next one. เขาถือข้าวไปภูเขาสีขาวเขาถือข้าวไปภูเขาสีขาวเขาถือข้าวไปภูเขาสีขาวโอเคเขา he or she there ถือข้าว t o is carry yeah ข้าว Yeah, f o r e i g n tone. Cow. เ o าถือข้าว Rice. Yeah. ไปที่ไปที่ Go towards. ภูเขา Yeah. Like I said earlier, right? เขาเอาภูเขา Mountain. Yeah. สีขาว White color. เขาถือข้าวไปที่ภูเขาสีขาวเขาถือข้าวไปที่ภูเขาสีขาว Okay, this one is the hardest one, and it's the last one for today. ผู้ชายมีเขานั่งเกาเขากินข้าวดูข่าวกับเพื่อนเขาผู้ชายมีเขานั่งเกาเขากินข้าวดูข่าวกับเพื่อนเขา I'm gonna say it a few more times yeah ผู้ชายมีเขาผู้ชายมีเขานั่งเกาเขากินข้าวนั่งเกาเขากินข้าวดูข่าวกับเพื่อนเขาดูข่าวกับเพื่อนเขา All right, let's break it down. Actually, I'm gonna give you three more seconds to think about this first. Okay, ready? ผู้ชายมีเขา yeah again the spelling is เขา but conversation always say เขาผู้ชายมีเขา beard นั่งเกาเขากินข้าวนั่ง sit เกาเ scratch เขา knees นั่งเกาเขากินข้าว yeah again นั่งเกา scratch เขา knees กินข้าว rice ดูข่าวกับเพื่อนเขา yeah watch news ดูข่าวกับเพื่อนเขาเพื่อนเขา is his friends so in Thai we just add we just put noun and then pronoun after so that noun belongs to the pronoun เพื่อนเขา yeah his friends it could be one friend or two friends we don't know here because we don't have plural form in Thai All right, that's all for today. I know this video is pretty long, and so I hope it really helps you to understand the differences of those words in Thai. Though for us, those words are all different words and different meanings, rather than one word with different tones. So that's how important tones are for us. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with your friends. I'll see you again next video. รักทุกคนค่ะจุ๊บจุ๊บ